I have seen Avatar The Way of Water and in an exciting episode of comparing the Lego set's accuracy to the movie, these sets are not currently available, but the movie will be released tomorrow or December 15 for those in the future and the Lego toys are releasing on January 1st. Which of these upcoming sets are more faithfully accurate to the movie and which sets take some creative liberties? Liking and subscribing if you enjoy helps support the channel, let's get into this. Starting from the smaller set to the large, this is Elu Discovery, a brand new creature in the Elu which is a smaller Elu like Pokemon creature that the kids in the movie bond with and ride around their little resort home. This set includes Sidreya, one of the new tribe children, and Took, who is the youngest of Jake and Nateri's kids. Extremely accurate in its depiction and even its character selection. Let's talk about the downside of some of the figures though. The new tribe is great and the colour change stands out from the rest of the Avatar Navi figures, but the tails here is where Lego drops the ball. Whether they knew this or not, we're not too sure. It's entirely possible that Lego had no idea, but the tribe in the movie has thicker tails, much thicker tails, tails like tadpoles, they're used specifically for swimming. They're so thick and noticeable that the kids outright make fun of Jake and Nateri's children for having such skinny tails, so it's pretty ironic that their minifigures actually have those very same skinny tails. No complaints otherwise, the Pandora builds are pretty weak across the board for me personally. Most of these sets they're just resembling the Lego City type sea coral, but to make an accurate underwater Pandora would be an extreme task. The Skimwing Adventure is the next set, the same description that I gave for the Elu applies for the Skimwing but targeted towards the adults. This could be seen as representing Tonawari teaching Jake how to ride one. Set in fact includes both of those characters. Tonawari looks really great. I really love his big blue eyes which alongside his face tattoos make for his most distinguishable features. His clothing is a little off though. He has a very colourful gown I guess you would call it throughout the movie. Lego have chosen not to include this gown though. It is disappointing. I think it removes a lot of the interesting colours from him. Jake Sully is an interesting figure here. He has his army pouches, same outfit that's shown in the trailer here where he emerges from the ocean on the skim wing. There is no rifle to be found though, I'll just be adding my own. He has a crossbow that he never once uses. Listen, Lego, just put in the guns. You're fine with doing it for Avengers and Star Wars, just put in the guns for Avatar. Jake's hair is completely wrong though, that's why I'm a little disappointed in this guy. Tonal Warriors is too for that matter since it is the same piece. I mentioned this in the Black Panther video that I did but Lego really do not seem to want to be doing dreadlocks. Maybe they didn't know but it's two blockbusters in a row where dreadlocks are play quite a key part as a character's design and Lego have chosen to change that outright. The Marco Submarine is the only military dedicated presence here and would you believe it this isn't the sole military transport in the movie. This sub is actually used by a bunch of scientists and poachers in the movie who are hunting down the Tolkien whales. Those scientists and poachers are met and approached by Mr. Quark who appears here in Navi form so that's why he's included in this set. Resurrections are here in full swing now. Our human villain from the first movie is here as a brand new figure he looks great. New hair is shared with Ao Nang, Tonoware's son and sibling to Sidreya. He's noticeable as well for including this really neat bow and arrow piece but uh, unfortunately I never quite noticed something that is as specific as this. This avatar line has already introduced the regular bow and arrow pieces so I have to assume that this isn't just a regular bow and arrow, this is supposed to be a more specialized weapon. A almost crossbow like weapon is used in the movie for hunting in what I believe is supposed to be this very scene that's being represented here so I think that's what this weapon is supposed to be. We also get an ATM, Jake's oldest son, and Spider, the human boy who is friends with the Navi and loyal to Jake's family. Spider and the other teens here use the mid legs which allows them to be in a different size proportion to someone like an ATM. They do use the same legs as Took though. Took is a much younger child to these other kids in the movie so I might swap those out for little little legs. An ATM is quite generic though to the other figures and I'm a little upset by that. He plays a much larger role throughout the film so I think he needed to be made to stand out a lot more. His hair is what throws it off the most actually if you look at these uh, side by side comparison images. The Met Kayena Reef Home is probably the most notable entry here. I think this is the set that most people were expecting and anticipating from this line specifically. We get Jake's family home and I think it looks pretty great. It's plated above these sea bricks which are just colored blue bricks but you get the idea. We get Tonawari again in the set but this time he is paired with his wife Ronal who is the second chieftain type role of the tribe. It's the only way that you can get the new Nateri and most importantly we get Kiri who is the poster child of the entire operation and my 
my favorite new character of the movie. I love her figure a lot. I think she looks amazing in comparison to those others. Nateri looks how she usually looks in the other sets. Ronal looks accurate enough. I maybe would have tested what her crown headdress thing looks like if it's molded into the hair over a regular face print, but she does look nice. She has no pregnant belly printing though. Our final set is Payakan the Tolkien and Crab Suit. Best part of seeing this movie is the discovery that the Tolkien is a named one specifically. This is Payakan. He's an outcast whale who is shunned from his world. Amazing details on his half fin. You can see the builds on each side are different. That plays a key part of his character in the movie. Awesome addition. I'm really surprised that Lego honored this. This image here shows how the pieces can lock all together, but it's not just an example image showing off those pieces like I assumed it was. It's actually an accurate moment from the movie. This is how the Tolkien whale opens his mouth and eats. I think it's really cool that they added that. It's such a nice touch. You can open those pieces all together. The crab suit here though, I think is the weakest part of the set. The build is really fun and it makes for a really cool addition, but this doesn't resemble what it looks like in the movie at all in my eyes, I'm sorry. The colors here are so wrong and it's far too bulky for a build. In the movie, it's a lot more squashed and really nimble. It actually does resemble a crab as well. As for those figures, Sidreya is reused here. We do also get a random army man for the crab suit. It would have been nicer if maybe we received a army Navi character that could go with Quarag, but that's okay. The most interesting figure here is Loak, who is the second eldest son to Jake and Nateri. Disappointed in his look though, just like his older brother. His hair is wrong. The kids have noticeable features that Lego has decided to skip over. He is a perfect inclusion for the set though, because he pairs very nicely with his friend Payakan. Overall that was the Avatar Way of the Water Lego line which releases January 1st. I really loved this movie and I really love these sets. I think that this is one of the most accurate waves of sets that I have reported on this channel. Would you believe it or not? I can't wait to get these as soon as I can. The displays are great with mostly sea-based creatures and I think the figures are a huge step up as well. The inclusion of Jake's family and Tonawari's family adds to that character roster that I was getting really tired of because most of the other figures in the other sets are just a bunch of different Jakes and Nateris. If there's no more Lego Avatar sets after this, I am satisfied enough with these. Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing helps support the channel. We will see you in the next episode.